What's going on guys? It's John for tropicalfishguy.com and today we're going to talk about testing your water. Now why would you want to test your water? Because when you want, to, several reasons, right? First of all, uh, I'm gonna, I just did a water change on this full. I moved it from my daughter's room down here. So we need to, uh, and we had some casualties, so we need to test the water to uh, introduce some new fish. I, I went to the pet store, we got some new fish. Uh, ideally you want to do this before you get the fish, but also, you know, a couple of other scenarios where you might want to test your water is if your uh, fish act weird or, you know, look like they're distressed or if you're um, after water change or uh, after treatment but but a lot of times most of the times is when you are introducing new fish you want to make sure your water quality is, is excellent so the best test kit and, and it's very inexpensive is this uh, aquarium pharmaceuticals industries api freshwater master test kit right so i mean it's, it's real cheap it's like 20 bucks it's got you know you can do like eight, 80 tests or something like that uh, 800 tests. Let's see what it says. It's uh, over 800 tests. I mean, what is that like? Two cents a test or something like that. So, you know, instead of going to your fish store and waiting and driving out there and waiting in line to get your water tested, you can do it yourself, man. Just real fast. It just takes a second, right? So, the three things you want to do, three things you want to test, and I'll show you here. I'll move this stuff out of the way. Awesome. Three. Okay. So it comes with this booklet on instructions on how to test your water, but I'll tell you real quick is the, the three things that you want to test are ammonia, which is the level, which is uh, like fish poop or decay or uh, uh, the, it's the number one killer of fish, ammonia, right? It, it's, it's pretty much uh, toxic uh, to your fish. Uh, the number two is nitrite. When ammonia gets consumed by the, the good bacteria, it turns into nitrite. Nitrite is the number two killer of fish, right? Nitrite, and then uh, once that bacteria uh, consumes that nitrite, it turns into nitrate. Uh, but freshwater, we don't care too much about nitrate. It, it gets consumed by plants or you can get it out from water changes. So uh, really, uh, ammonia, nitrite, and of course, pH. pH is, you know, alkaline, acidity. It's got to be, you know, uh, within a good range. So the uh, ammonia, you want it to be yellow, which is zero parts per million. That means no ammonia. That means your bacteria is doing good. Your filter's working. That's what it means. Your filter's working. Nitrite is blue. Zero parts per million. That's what you want. Also, indication of your filter working. pH is not an indication of your filter working. It's just uh, how alkaline or acid your water is. For a regular freshwater fish, uh, the uh, neutral is 7, but anywhere from 6 to 7.6 for uh, a community tank that's good for like uh, African cichlids or something that you want to go with the uh, high range pH which goes from 7.4 to 8.8 .8. you know African cichlids are a little bit different they live in uh, uh, the, the, the three or four the three lakes in, in Africa but we'll, we'll we'll talk about them later but for right now a uh, regular community tank pH around 7 is good all right, so ammonia, nitrite, pH, and let's get started. So this API, API test kit comes with these vials. Uh, you want three vials, rinse them off, make sure you don't uh, use any soap or anything like that. So you want to take these three vials and fill the line. See the line right there? The line right there, you want to fill the vial up to that 
I don't know if you can see it, but that, that white line right there. Okay, so three vowels to that white line. One, you see that? Two, three. So you got three vowels. And I'll, I'll put a link to the, um, to the test kit up here so you can order it. It's, it's like, I mean, it's cheap. It's like 20 bucks or something from Amazon. So I'll hook you up with that link. And uh, I am an affiliate, so it's a good way to support this channel. And I appreciate it. Um, ammonia. This one right here, the one that says ammonia. And it tells you. Okay, so the ammonia test contains two bottles, right? So it, it's labeled bottle number one in this little drop here right there. It says how many drops you put in there. So add eight drops of bottle number one. Turn that red thing to the left and you turn. Okay, same thing with ammonia. This is bottle number two. You put eight drops in there. Eight on number one, eight on number two. Very simple. So you press this red thing to the left, and then you turn the cap. Boom. So we're going to add eight drops number one, eight drops number two. Count the drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight drops number one. Eight drops number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You put the cap on. You shake it up. Look there. Guess what color that is? It's hard to take a look. You want to use a white background, which guess what? It comes with the test kit. Look at that, what color is that? Yellow, man. That is pure yellow. It might look like green, but... It's actually pretty green right there. So, you know what? That's pretty green. That's why we test our water, man. Look at that. What does it say? Ammonia. Look at... Oh, man, that, that's pretty dang green, bro. So... You probably don't want to introduce no fish in here, but you know what you can do? You can change the water again, get you some fresh water. Holy cow, that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty bad. So if you get water like this, that means your fish tank is still uh, building up the biological filter, um, which ain't that good. That is really high. That look at that, boom, eight parts per million. That ain't what you want to see, folks. That's why you test your water. Second test. Nitrite, the second most deadliest chemical. Same thing. Hold down the red thing and turn it. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Put the cap on. Get your background. Look at that. Blue. And that is good on the nitrite. There's your nitrite right there. That's the color you want. Background, blue. Nitrite, good, blue. And finally, the last test you want to do is pH to make sure the alkaline acidity is good. You add three drops, just like the pH bottle tells you. Pretty simple, man. Just hold down the red, red thing to the left. Turn the cap. Easy. One, two, three. Right? Did it say? Yep. Three drops. Put the cap on. Let's look at this. Look at this. What is this? pH. 
Look at this pH, man. pH is low, low, low. Look at that. pH is 6, man. Lower than 6. So you're going to get a free lesson here. Okay, so that's yellow. Shouldn't be yellow. So what, what do you get from this test? The pH is low. Nitrite is good. Ammonia, man. Ammonia is going to kill these fish, bro. So we're going to have to do something, right? So a tip. Let me tell you something. Ammonia is high, pH is low. If the pH is real low, that means the nitrifying bacteria that kills the ammonia cannot live. You're going to have to raise that pH. Okay, so we're going to have to do something real fast here, raise the pH. And I got fish over here. I, I messed up and I didn't uh, test my water before I bought the fish. So don't make that same mistake. But, you know, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to do a quick water change to make the ammonia lower and I'm going to add, guess what, sodium bicarbonate to raise the pH and guess what that is? I'm going to add a tablespoon or two of baking soda and then we're going to retest. Catch after, the t catch after I make this change. Wow. Alright, so we determined that the water quality in the fish tank is very toxic uh, because of the high ammonia, because of the low pH. Uh, the low pH is, is uh, what actually is the problem because the nitrifying bacteria can't eat the ammonia because it can't live in, in an acid environment in a low pH. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to test the tap water. So we did a we took all uh, we drained all the water out from the aquarium and we're gonna fill it back up with tap water, but before we fill it back up, we wanna make sure we're putting the right water in. So let's do the test again. So you guys are getting an extra bonus here. So ammonia, bottle number one, eight drops, like we said, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get that going. Number two, eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good thing we got this test kit, right? I mean, this goes to show you that buy the test kit, man. I mean, you don't want to be running back and forth, wasting your time at the aquarium store, right? All right, nitrite. Open it up. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And the nitrite, it was not high because the bacteria couldn't eat the ammonia to turn into nitrite. That's the cycle. We'll talk about the cycle later, but blue is good. And then finally the pH, three drops. Hold the red and then open. One, two, three. Look at that. Okay, so that is what the pH should look like. So we've got decent pH here. Around 7.6. That's good. That's good pH. I mean, we, we filled that up yesterday uh, with this pH. The ammonia. Not too bad. It's sitting at about 0.5 parts per million, which isn't too bad. A lot better than what was in the tank. But the nitrite is zero. The pH is good. pH is 7.6. So we're going to fill back up. And we're going to also do a, add a little baking soda to keep that pH stable. That's interesting. So the tap water, ammonia yellow, kind of green, mostly yellow, kind of green, that's okay. Nitrite zero, pH good, and 7.5. So 
we're going to fill this tank back up and add some uh, baking soda to stabilize the pH and then add our fish. All right, so after we did almost a full water change and added a couple of tablespoons of the baking soda, and you know, you can get uh, stuff to stabilize pH at the aquarium store, but the best thing really, if your pH is low and your hardness is low, there's a couple of different things you can test for hardness as well, but uh, really if your pH is low, um, baking soda, a couple of tablespoons of baking soda per 10 gallons is good. Uh, Ammonia is still a little bit high, but that's still manageable. That's okay. A little bit green is all right. Uh, pH is higher. That's good. We're going to go ahead and introduce the fish. Looking on the chart, that's about one part per million compared to eight. So that's like 800% better. Good. So I added some uh, baking soda, like I said, to the fish tank. And now I think... I mean, it's not ideal, but it'll be okay for adding fish. Ideally, really, you want the yellow ammonia, but once this filter kicks in and the sodium bicarbonate, the baking soda kicks in, I think everything will be good, and I'll keep you updated on how it goes. But we're going to add fish. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a like. Uh, Put some comments on if you got any questions. I've been doing this for a long time. Ask your questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, this is Tropical Fish Guy signing off. And thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, peace out. Thanks. Yeah.